Samsung Galaxy S23, it's happening. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. After multiple failed attempts of trying to make Exynos work, the Galaxy S23 series was rumored to be the first of its kind to launch exclusively with Qualcomm Silicon. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is slated to take full advantage of TSMC Zen 4 node and boost its Cortex-X3 core to 3.5 GHz but however, according to the information obtained by Ice Universe, it seems like Samsung doesn't want to kill off Exynos just yet. The leaker posted on Weibo that Samsung's mobile experience department wants the Galaxy S23 to be an all-snap Dragon Endeavor but a section on Samsung's top brass has disagreed with that sentiment saying that they want to include Exynos 2300 powered variants by apparently creating a rift in Samsung's upper management. If the Exynos 2300 ever sees the light of day, it will almost certainly be manufactured on Samsung's 3G slash 3G node and it uses an improved GAF at design over TSMC's FinFET, which should ideally give it an edge. However, Samsung hasn't had many customers for the node, with its only known customer being a Chinese cryptocurrency mining equipment maker. That said, it is unlikely that Samsung will take the two-soak approach with the Galaxy S23, especially when Exynos has fallen flat against Snapdragon almost every generation. The company would do well to lay low for a generation or two and make its comeback with the Galaxy-centric processor it has planned for 2025. Well, in my opinion, this will not only help Samsung regain customer trust but also give time for the fledgling 3G slash 3G nodes to mature. In addition to that, Samsung has applied for a couple more trademarks pertaining to flexible display technology, or more specifically, slidable devices. Two new applications by Samsung Display have emerged at Kipris, Korea Intellectual Property Rights Information Service, and they secure the Slidable Flex Solo and Slidable Flex Duet monikers. Samsung showcased slidable device concepts at Display Week earlier this year, and one prototype was tentatively called Slidable Y. The new Slidable Flex Duet trademark may be associated with this concept, but it's difficult to predict how Samsung's foldable display portfolio will change and evolve in the coming years. In practical terms, the Slidable Wide prototype featured a flexible display tucked away inside a device that can slide out from its sides to extend the viewing area. Finally, I would like to remind Samsung has explored several concepts based on its foldable display technology, including dual folding phone tabled hybrids known as Flex S and Flex G which have already been trademarked. And with that said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.